Danny asks us, as I have a flow that is supposed to create item in the SharePoint list with the results of the form. When the list item is created, it's empty. Anyone know why it's empty? I don't know why it's empty, but I can give you some things to look for. So um, without obviously looking at it myself, I can't tell you why. Um, the, the first question is, is it empty, empty? Like it creates a completely empty row in SharePoint, or does it give it a, the title and then it's not filling in any of the other values, the other fields? Um, in your Power Automate flow, uh, look at the flow run and find the create item and click on it to expand it. It will show you the inputs and the outputs. So if the outputs are all blank, then you have a data, you have a a dynamic value error. You're putting in the wrong values or you're not putting the values at all. It's not magical. You do have to tell it what values to put into the SharePoint list. Um, it's uh, you also want to check before that if the inputs are empty or if the, if the outputs are empty also um, look before that at the the values from the form. Um, every single Power Automate that I do that comes from a data source. The trigger is, you know, when it's new, when it's created, when it's modified, when it's whatever happens, I always add a get item right after that. Whether you're getting the SharePoint item or getting the the forms data, always get the item. Make sure that has the data in it as well. And basically follow the trail through and see if the data is getting corrupted or missing or deleted anywhere in the Power Automate. Um, those are your best bets. Other than that, I mean, there could be a problem, but I use create item all the time. So I know that the action itself works. Um, but yeah, I would check check the flow run, expand the action and see if the data is there. Well, the other thing is um, the data that's coming from the form could be a drop down list. And then if you don't have those exact same values in the destination SharePoint site and it can't map them, then it's going to, it's going to, uh, and you don't let it add its own values, it's going to put nothing. So there, it could be, like you're saying, you've got to make sure they're apples and apples when you right. are mapping. And then if you make changes to the form, you've got to make changes to the SharePoint list and vice versa. And people forget that and don't refresh. Sometimes those new things don't show up. You have to actually refresh the connection to the SharePoint list or the form to make sure that the changes are showing up so you can map them together. Yes. Uh, and I, when you, you map tell I've done that. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you map those values for like choice fields, read the the field name in in the Power Automate action. Read the field name very carefully and make sure you use the dynamic value that matches. Um, if you use the the choice field as your dynamic value, it will try to put the entire field in to a one value field instead of using the choice field value dynamic value. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. And the data types are also a big deal too. If yes. you've got text on one side and you've got it's a date on the other or vice versa, it's not going to be able to map the data type as well. I wonder right. if it's getting any errors. Uh, we can't create these because of the data type mismatch type. I can't remember the exact error, but it comes something like that saying, you got text over here and this is a date. I can't put the two together. Right. Yeah, I would be curious to know if the if the action is showing the data. If, so basically, is the data disappearing before? the create item action or is the data disappearing during the create item action? And then that would go back to what Sherry was just saying of maybe you're putting the wrong type of data into the field and so it's getting confused. Yeah, there was my Microsoft Access Queen hat. Just put that on. Right. Just a few minutes. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs>